welcome back to the channel guys hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic today let's have a look at this tiny soundbar but very powerful from Ultimia this is the Nova S50 brand new model 2.1 so we got our sub there and two speakers there I don't know if you guys noticed Dolby Atmos so this one has Dolby Atmos virtual I'm going to put it to the test don't get fooled by the small format spoiler alert this soundbar is very powerful all right guys let's start with the really quick unboxing and then we come back to the living room we're going to put it to the test hopefully you guys enjoy this one consider subscribing to the channel thank you very much all right guys let's do the unboxing Okay guys, there you have it, everything that comes in the box, use a manual card and we got our power brick. Of course, we have our S50 sound bar, we're gonna have a look at that in a minute. We got the two supports for the wall, with some bits. Of course, we have our subwoofer, a remote control with some direct buttons there, looking good. You need to supply your own AAA batteries. And in addition, we have a few cables, so we got the HDMI cable, an optical cable and a 3.5mm cable. There is also this L-shape HDMI adapter. Yeah, let's have a look at the sound bar itself. As you guys can see, it's very, very slim and small in size. So at the top, you got the Dolby Atmos logo there and on the other side, you got the Ultimia logo. At the front we got this metal grid and at the bottom we got the sticker with the specs. There's also some rubber feet there. On the back we got the mount for the support there and the I.O. So we got the aux port, optical port, HDMI eARC in this case, one USB, a RCA port for the subwoofer and the power in. On the side we also have some buttons, volume, power, source and Bluetooth. In terms of the sub itself, so we got the logo there at the front and some ventilation. On this side nothing, on the back just a sticker with the specs. On this side we got the fabric cover and at the bottom we got some rubber feet as well. Okay guys, so here we are in the living room, as you guys can see, the sound by and sub are right there, put the sub on top of the units, so you guys can have a perspective and sound is there, and you can see how tiny it is, there's a remote control for the PS4, for comparison, 55 inch TV, so as you guys can tell, sound bar is quite small, we're going to put it to the test, let's see how powerful this sound bar is, let's check the quality, all that. Currently we're using HDMI ARC as connectivity, we can also change it to optical like so. In terms of watts, the subwoofer has 40 watts and I believe the total is 160. Please don't take my words for it, I'm still waiting for the manufacturer confirmation on this, I'll put it on the screen if I know any better. So guys, on the remote you have three types of EQ, movie, game and music. You can definitely tell the difference. Let me turn it up a little bit. According to the manufacturer, this so this is music. The and the most advanced to date. Game. He has passed 15 military grade toughness tests. And Focus on GPS. You can turn the like LED on or off if using the remote. It's the most extremely challenging environment. There's a dedicated button to change the bass, the manufacturer called Bass MX, and by pressing, so you got one, minus one, and zero. You can definitely tell the difference. So bass one, zero. To watch some films, this is in my opinion, what the sound bar is for. And with this one, for it, from my experience, I can tell it's quite good. What I notice is that the speech is right coming from you from the center. You can definitely tell that. And what the manufacturer will tell you is the Dolby Atmos, it's a virtual scene. So you, uh, you get that effect, the enhanced effect of the surrounding sound. It's very hard to represent on 
the camera, the sound from the sound bar, hopefully this will give you an idea. I can definitely feel the bass, might be a bit too much. I do recommend sometimes you lower to minus one or even zero. If you like the bass, it's quite good, but sometimes it's a bit too much. sound settings if you go to expert settings you can see that Dolby digital is available <laughs> Unless if, don't know if you guys can tell that Dolby surround let me just show you guys really quick the difference from the tv sound to the sound bar sound it's night and day so currently we listen to the tv it is quite loud from 30, as you guys can see. Now I'm going to change it to the sound bar. Bear in mind that the volume goes up to 32, so it's only on 10. But change it back to the TV. HDMI, ARC or optical, I don't notice much difference guys. The only advantage is with the TV remote you can control the volume while using the optical you cannot do that. You need to use the soundbar remote. I think as soon as you get used to the soundbar you can never go back to the TV sound. The sound is really immersive with this one, guys. Trust me on this. For the size, such a loud sound and quality as well of course we can also use bluetooth in this case 5.3 and of course because it's using bluetooth 5.3 is quite fast it's instant guys i'm not being paid to say this i'm not biased of course the manufacturer sent me this for free i haven't paid anything but i really really enjoyed this one So far, I've been very, very impressed with this soundbar. Small in size, you can do this on a computer, for example, but the power and the, the sound quality, it's quite good, in my honest opinion. You don't get that distorted sound when you play it loud. Quality is there. And yeah, guys, it looks, it looks, it looks good. It's not those beasts that stay there, taking all the space, no. Quite good, you can even put it there. Let me stand back a little bit. If you enjoyed the video guys, click the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for your support. Like always, thank you very much for watching and hope I can see you all in the next one.